All right, so I'm out here in the woods, uh, and we're digging up ramp bulbs. Uh, different people have many different thoughts about the ethics of that, but this patch is well over a thousand acres, and we're, I feel like we're being responsible. Anyways, we're getting these nice bulbs, and uh, here's here's some growing out of the ground. And, and as I'm working, I'm, I'm paying attention to all the other plants that are growing around here. And, uh, you know, here's a little sugar maple, and... Uh, and then I come across this guy, or, or girl, or whatever you want to call it, but uh, just beautiful um, yellow bud here. And this is a, a, a young bitternut hickory. And I think it's really important for people to be able to identify trees at all ages and stages, uh, in the winter, in the summer, in the fall, in the spring, to know what hickory flowers look like. The more familiar we are with these plants, the better. So uh, I just want to take a close look at uh, this bitternut hickory or yellow bud hickory. I feel like it's one of the most important species uh, around as far as uh, food for people and wildlife. But see this uh, mustard colored bud? There's nothing in the woods you can confuse that with. And uh, this this uh, tree, um, it's probably a few years old. It's probably a lot older than you think. It might even be more like six or seven years old to be honest. Um, this is growing in the shade here um, with deep competition. and. Hickories are really cool. They'll persist in the understory, sometimes for decades. Um, and then at some point, a tree will fall or a tree will get cut and they'll be released and boom, they'll take off and they'll just kind of wait for a really long time. But a tree like this is very susceptible to deer browse. And if you're finding a lot of these in your woods and you have heavy deer pressure, you can protect trees like this. You don't have to use like a metal fence, though you could. Um, but you could also just pile brush around it. And if you have uh, brush piles, like there's a brush pile right over there, um, just brush piles like that, deer are not gonna walk into that. Deer, deer like to flow, and so they're just gonna move around obstacles. So if you just have stuff piled here and they have room, they'll just move around it. And uh, you can protect your trees just with piling branches around them and give the hickory a better chance to get going. Um, but anyway, it's really cool to find treasures like this, I think, and uh, that's how you can recognize one of these treasures. So, you know, pay attention to buds, and you'll, you'll see a lot more than if you're not. So, let's say yellow bud, bitternut hickory. Thanks for watching.